to say it's been an unexpected week for Plymouth fans is perhaps an understatement. Today, Plymouth begin live without Stephen Schumacher after his surprise move to Stoke. Birmingham City arrive and it's a contest that promises to be a close one with both teams on the same number of points with the exact same record of seven wins, five draws and ten defeats. Football has a habit of bringing us these unexpected stories. Today's temporary management team is Plymouth's director of football, Neil Jusnip, and first team coach, Kevin Nanskeville. And Neil Jusnip is reunited with Wayne Rooney, who he's known since the age of 11 from the Everton Academy. Rooney's focus will be solely what happens on the pitch, I'm sure, with Birmingham suffering seven defeats in the 11 games since his arrival. Birmingham on the attack here. Work to do for the Plymouth defence. And it's work they've done pretty well, although the job not completely done as Dembele gets onto the ball. Well, it wasn't quite what Iwu was hoping for in the middle. Excellent defending here initially by Galloway to get the ball away. Dembele picked up and went for goal and wins the corner. Birmingham pushing here in the early stages and they get just what they were hoping for here as Stansfield strikes. While the former Exeter man lifts his shirt to reveal the T-shirt that says once a Reds, always a Reds. He has scored here against his old rivals Plymouth and it's Birmingham that leads. Dembele, back to Iwu, has been a really positive start here from Wayne Rooney's side. Dembele around the corner, Iwu joins the attack, this looks promising here for Birmingham again, and it's a good stop by Hazard who manages to push away for a corner. Lovely interchange of passing here, and Stansfield is this time denied. There is Neil Warnock, although we shouldn't read too much into that. He's often at games here as he lives this way. There is, of course, a gap with Schumacher leaving. Birmingham again building nicely. Bakuna looking to feed through. And now Sunjic onto Bakuna. Dembele. And Bakuna manages to get the cross back into the area and it's a brilliant finish from James who thunders the effort against the bar and it's a second here for Birmingham. Well, the travel for the Birmingham fans, well worth it here. They have played some lovely football in the opening 39 minutes. Bakuna again, the one to deliver in. Right onto a plate for Jordan James. But how about this for a finish? And credit has to go to Bakuna, who does ever so well to get the cross back into the box. And again, it's the pressure from the front from Birmingham. It's been a real problem so far for Plymouth. Asking questions at the other end is Wayne. Hesitation at the back, and it may be a chance here, and it is for Plymouth. Well, it's a gift just before half time as Edwards races through, the captain leading the way. And Plymouth are back in this one. It was this moment of hesitation here. I was failing to get the ball away. Sanderson then. Well, what was he up to on the edge of the box? And Edwards racing through. Well, the referee here stepping in because of the challenge from Bielik. We are only three minutes into this second half and it will be red. 
for Christian Bielik. Well, the game instantly changes here. Here's the challenge. The feet were raised. And it was an instant dismissal. A quick decision. Bielik makes way early here. And now Plymouth have a big chance in this game. Plenty of green shirts up inside the area as they'll quickly look to respond. Well, what a ball across the six-yard box. It was one that Ruddy decided to leave. And nobody had made the gamble, nobody able to get there. Plymouth looking to attack, but it's Birmingham who tidy up. Sunjic just waiting in front of the back four, playing that role that he plays so well for Wayne Rooney's side. And now, all of a sudden, this high Plymouth back line has left themselves exposed, and Birmingham are in, and Bakuna is there! And it's 10-man Birmingham City who grab a third goal here. Well, Connor has said the goalkeeper will be disappointed. Should he potentially have done more here? But he was left, left exposed by his defence, who stepped up. And Bakuna unmarked, arrived to roll the ball underneath the goalkeeper. After brilliant work again by Stansfield, racing away down the right to provide what was a brilliant ball into the path of Bakuna, who arrived. trying to make things awkward here. This time he can't bring the ball under control. Plymouth with the extra man. Work it wide where there is some space. And here comes the cross, and there's the finish! Well, the closest to it inside the six-yard box, Ben Wayne. Plymouth are back into the game. Miller with the ball. And the Plymouth fans have something to cheer here. 68 minutes have gone, Miller made the run, made the cut back into the six-yard box. And it's difficult to tell whether or not it's Wayne that gets the final touch, or potentially that may just have come off of Roberts in the middle. The cross had the pace, and it's given Plymouth the chance here to get back into the game. Potentially off of Roberts, maybe it was Wayne. Here is Whitaker. Squares the pass. Into uh, Kesler Hayden. And Whitaker's continued his run! And he's fired in! And in this incredible game, we have another goal and another twist. It's Plymouth 3, Birmingham 3. Well, he drifted across from the right hand side quite brilliantly, Whitaker. And once he was into the central position, the pass rolled into his feet by Azaz, and then he just dispatched into that far corner. Ten league goals for the season for Morgan Whitaker, and perhaps none more important. Birmingham with ten on the field, breaking away. Miyoshi with the chance, he'll go for the corner. And it's well saved by Connor Hazard. Well, still the blistering pace of this game continues. And we could have had a fourth here for Birmingham. Space for Whitaker. Drifting across from this right hand side again. He's done well into the area. Big chance. And again, smuggled away by Birmingham at the back. Chance after chance in this game. Ruddy this time, not beaten, but Whitaker does brilliantly. 
around the outside of the Birmingham defence, but they just couldn't smuggle it over the line here, Plymouth. Well, it's arrived centrally. It's a big chance, and it's one that's put wide. It's the 17-year-old Isaka who has the chance. Oh, wouldn't this have been a moment for him here? At home, it just goes wide. Whitaker's ball, looking for Asaka. Well, it feels like finally we get the whistle in a truly enthralling game here in the championship. A frantic matchup. It finishes 3 3. It looks as though Birmingham were heading for all three points, but Morgan Whitaker had other ideas in the late stages. And Wayne Rooney's team will feel that they had the chance here, but the sending off of Christian Bielik proving to be such an important moment in this matchup. Some game in a big week, a big result. Number three, Birmingham three.